How's it going? Let's get this closed. How's everybody doing today? Oh, wait a sec. I think my, uh, my camera might already be frozen somehow. Well, that's a little annoying. Let me take a look at it real quick. Give me a second. All right. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't freeze again, but we'll see. Okay, so. All right. <laughs> uh, list some things that I've been doing, ways you can support me and things like that. So um, yeah, if you've seen these streams before and you like them, consider liking and subscribing. It helps me out a lot. Um, this is basically my full-time job now, which is pretty cool, but it is work. Talk and other social media platforms, things like that. Uh, links for everything are going to be in the description. Uh, go to my Gumroad shop to see all of the Blender tools that I'm making. If you actually model with Blender, um, I do share some stuff over there. Um, after these streams, I upload the files to Patreon, so if you want to check out any of the characters that I'm making and play around with the models, that's where to go. Um, also, uh, I share early access videos over there, uh, and I give out coupon codes for my products for free, so you could get them a little cheaper. Uh, and I'm in the middle right now of editing all of these streams. So the first one is already on YouTube. You can go watch that if you want. Um, and there are actually five more stream edits that are unreleased. They're on uh, Patreon right now. So you can watch those on Patreon, uh, as well as one tutorial that is going to be released on July 6th, I believe, Wednesday. And um, that video is about making water droplets with geometry nodes. So. That's a bunch of things you can do to support me if you want to do that. But uh, let's actually get to modeling some of these characters. So... Um, I was going to start with, uh, with a shy guy. I want to start with something kind of simple. Uh, let me just erase that and pull up a reference. So I did already gather some references. I just need to bring them in um, here. So, got a shy guy right there. I figured this would be a fun one to start with. It's on the simple side. And I should turn on screencast keys also. It's working. All right. So, let's see. I'm thinking how we should start this one. It looks like in this model right here that the arms are actually separate pieces. So, 
We'll make the arms separate pieces. It'll be easy anyway. Yeah, okay. Let's just get started with a cube. Yeah, I know the stream gets kind of laggy. My internet's just not really that good, unfortunately. Um, there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Hopefully it's not too much of a problem and it doesn't actually like crash or something like that. We don't have any good uh, internet providers around here. Right now I'm using T-Mobile. It's not an advertisement. I don't really suggest any of the internet providers. So... Yeah, I'm gonna make the head and body basically like one piece. Something like that. Let's inset this and drag it up. Hmm, I think that's maybe sticking out too much. Got to make room for a belt right here. Um, yeah, I mean, I used to have, um, or used to use Comcast, um, and that was even worse because it was a lot more expensive too. So there's really no winning. Not around here anyway as far as I know. Okay, so that might be enough for the body, but we need to make that hood too. And my, uh, my webcam froze again. So maybe no webcam this time, because it doesn't want to play nice for some reason. Sorry, I'm just shutting it off real quick. Okay. All right. So, let's see. I'm thinking maybe I'll like apply this um, a little lower. Or, right, I'm gonna duplicate this just in case. And we'll just try to model it like right in here. Maybe, maybe I can just extrude this uh, on the Y axis like that. And I'll use loop tools to turn that. No, that doesn't work. Where is here? You mean, where do I live? I live in like Northeast United States, Massachusetts.
Yeah, I'm actually thinking maybe this would be better uh, if I applied it with like one subdivision like that. So let's do that. And then add another one on top, just smooth it out a little. Now we have a little more control over like the faces that we extrude. So we'll just grab these three and extrude those out. See if Loop Tools lets me, actually let's flatten this first. See if Loop Tools lets me turn that into a circle. That actually looks pretty good. This should be bigger. So we have the little hood right there. I'm thinking, let's put the mask on now. And um, let's see, how should we do that? Um, hmm. Do a subdivided cube maybe. Something like this, apply that. the 3D cursor and I'll just take some of these and see if I can flatten them like that. We'll use that for the basic mask shape. And it should be pretty big. Probably scale it in like, like this. Turn on proportional editing. Let's see if I can shape this a little better.
actually make the belt now. Um, it's like a, f a fold right here, and then maybe you can put the belt right here. So let's just take this and I will I'll mark this sharp. So let me increase right here or shift E like that. Oops. And then we can extrude that along the normals. And turn the crease all the way down. So we got something like that now. We can do a similar thing for these like folds next to it, except I'm not gonna um, mark them as a, um, you know, I'm not gonna crease them first. So Alt E, extrude on long normals, something like that. Pull that up and, hmm, actually, instead of doing that, I will, inset like that and maybe I'll just scale it out like that. I think that looks a little better. And this looks a little thin still, it's like too much like that, so I will fix that eventually. Maybe I'll just uh, use proportional editing. Thinking maybe we can squash this a little uh, on the Y axis, something like that. All right, let's work on the mask a little more. So see if we can just, actually I should mirror this first. So delete that, add a mirror modifier first. trying to make these a little closer to being squares so that they'll be more circular like that. Also, let's drag this down. This might help making the eyes a little bigger. Like that. And we can maybe mark these sharp, extrude them inward like that. It's a little weird. Like it looks maybe too, too funky in the middle, like there's too much of a crease. Wondering if I can just like pull them in. Probably not. That's a little better. Let's um, turn the subdivisions up right here. I want it to be more smooth at the top. Um, I guess like the easiest way to do that would be like a Boolean. We could do that, but that messes up the normals uh, a little bit sometimes. 
I'm I'm not using an add-on right now. I don't know what you're talking about. I could probably make these a little smaller. Now let's basically do the same thing uh, for the mouth. We'll hit B. That's, uh, what is that, boundary? And let's move this in. Boolean would probably look better. Oh yeah, loop tools. That's, uh, that's built into Blender, so you don't have to, you just have to turn it on. You don't have to download anything. Flipping on. All right, let's see if this works. Shift E, extrude that on the Y like that. And I'll turn, should I turn that off? No, I'll leave it on. So this isn't bad. I think I could maybe drag it around, drag it down or something like that. Oops, let me grab everything. There are quite a bit of other characters on the list. We have we have um, Rayman, Grunkle Stan, Bill Cipher, Scott Pilgrim, Ronald McDonald, Rigby, Dee Dee, Alien Hominid, Wallace Gromit, Wally, King of All Cosmos. You can read you can read that. I'm not going to read all of them, but I do already have some references just in case of uh, these characters right here. Yoda. That was a, a recommendation from TikTok. Hank Hill, I think, is funny. We have Bill Cipher. This is Sheldon from Splatoon, Rigby, yeah, and then the shy guy that we're doing now. Yeah, maybe this would be better. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna back out and use a Boolean instead because it's gonna look a lot cleaner. Let's do, 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 do mirror. Okay, so let's just add a cylinder right here. That's that's enough for the verts. And we'll make a separate um, we'll make a separate collection. Add that into there. My name, my last name is pronounced Carlino for people in the chat who are asking. All right, and uh, this is also rotated. Um, let's add a Boolean. Where is it? Up here. Let's see if we can add it before the mirror. Make it mirror to the other side, that might help. <laughs> Maybe not. Let's, um... And let's make this, um... This will be mirrored. What am I doing? Yeah, the cylinder will be mirrored to the head. And, or, yeah, whatever. And we have to make these wireframes so we can actually see what they're doing. No, 
Now let's take this, duplicate it, and remove the mirror. Put it in the middle. So these definitely need to be like taller, like that. It's pretty good. Seems fine. Now I'm gonna name this and duplicate it and I'm gonna apply this one uh, but I have to apply everything so yeah we'll do that then I can hide that actually before I do that let's make sure these are going in as far as we act as we want them to it looks a little weird on the side right there so maybe let's angle these in a little more It's like, why isn't this working? I didn't actually back up. That looks a little better. And the mouth seems fine too. So these don't need to go in too far. I just want it to be relatively even right there. So we should be able to just apply this now that turn off the boolean okay so we have the mask let's put this pretty close like that I don't want it to cut in too much right there. And this, maybe we can just use proportional editing a little to, to make that fit a little better, like that. That looks good. And let's do the, the strap right here that we might be able to yeah i'll just take this right here and i'll duplicate it and then separate it with p like that so we have this strap and i will grab this oops move it down like that let's add a solidify it push out smooth okay it's pretty pretty easy for that one make it a little thicker
you you can reach apologize it if you want I'm not I'm not going to but um, I mean it really depends on how you want this to deform how much reach apology you really need to do you know and you know this is somebody else's this is like property of Nintendo so if you were gonna use it for a game or something you'd have to be careful you know you don't want to get in trouble okay um, let's do the let's do the arms it's gonna be easy give this a save add a cube Let's scale this down let's uh, mirror this first make it mirror the body so this we're basically just gonna pull it out like that there we go arms we can turn the subdivisions up quite a bit higher if we want that looks like too big so we can scale that down and maybe a little wider too. Scale, um, that would be on the X like that. Let's make this stick out even more. buckle it's an easy one we'll just use a um, we'll just use a plane rotate it like that Just extrude it like that and then bring that out and see what that looks like subdivided. That's okay. I'm thinking uh, we could add a bevel first. That'll probably work well. That looks a little weird though. Maybe, uh, maybe that inset is not a good idea. Let's just add a solidify subdivision and a bevel like that.
Okay, so we've got the belt buckle. Let's do the shoes. We can, let's just duplicate this. Set it back to the middle right there. In edit mode, we'll just delete everything and replace it with a cube. Just to start with a clean shape like that. Now let's set this back to increment so we can snap it to the grid like that. Bring it out quite a bit. Um, should probably add a loop right there and a loop right here so we can make it round at the, at the tip like that. We'll add one right there. So we can just scale it on the X. Let's grab the entire bottom loop right here and just mark that sharp for now. Or, you know crease, whatever. It's not marked sharp, it's uh, turning the crease up. But I always say mark sharp for some reason. I'm thinking let's maybe just drag both of these down slightly so that we can drag this one up. How do I make sure the topology on my models are always so nice? I don't really. <laughs> I just box model a lot, and so by default, um, a lot of the shapes are gonna be squares, which is, you know, people like the look of that. So, yeah, it's just, if, if you get used to box modeling and you just subdivide things and add loop cuts and things like that, you end up with mostly quads. So that's one easy way to make things kind of look clean. Right, let's add a loop right here. And I want to flatten that on the Z. And let's scale that in. And yeah, the bottom should stick out like that. So we can turn the crease of this up. Let's maybe select the whole bottom. I've been using Blender for about three years, roughly. That's close. I feel like the, the front should be more of the shoe. Like that. Maybe. I think maybe these are too long. I wonder if we can just squash them. Oops, squash them on the Y. That seems maybe a little better. Looks a little lumpy.
That might be enough. No. Oh man, it's so hard to stop. I just, I just wanna keep editing until it like looks perfect, but it's never gonna look completely perfect. So we gotta stop eventually. everything to the body like that that seems to work pretty well and now we can do this stuff like that I think this might be this might be done maybe move the feet hmm how should I do this a little lower and I want to move the feet back a little something like that okay Let's see maybe we can just kind of uh, drag these up with proportional editing on pretty good. Let's smooth everything out. Shade smooth. Make sure this is yeah, auto smooth. And the shoes also should be nice auto smooth. Okay. Let's um let's let's texture this. The mouth looks a little weird. There's some like weird normals going on around here, but Hopefully that's not too much of a problem. All right, let's texture this. So let's go to UV editing. And add our palette. we grab the inside of all of these like that make those black actually ooh, how do I do that can make these just gray in here like that that looks good So the body is going to be mostly that red. Oops. Oh, you don't know about auto smooth. It's um yeah, it's under here object data properties and it basically will look at the angle that this is set to and um, it will like s mark certain things sharp and certain things smooth based on that angle. I think it's if it's like uh, higher than this, then it'll shade it smooth. And if it's uh, 
or sorry, wait, what am I thinking? Yeah, yeah, I believe if, if it's higher than that, it'll shade it smooth. I might have that backwards and I'm just confused or something. Let's um, make this a different palette or a different material. I'll just do this palette. Metal, and then we can turn the metallic up and the roughness down just a little and we'll make it that like gold color. So maybe like this, but more pale, like that. Can take this right here and make that like, uh, so kind of like a dark brown. So maybe like that, maybe not that dark that. Okay, take the strap, turn that into a different color. That's more of a light brown. Yeah, I think the thing that's confusing me with the, the angle, whether it's like more or less, is like if you're measuring the outside angle or the inside angle, but I think you're right. Make this blue um, a pretty... that and then we can take make it that kind of maybe the same color as the, uh, the strap there we go shy guy okay Now we gotta figure out which one to do next. Oh, I still have that turned on, yeah. So let's just move this to the side a little. Okay. So yeah, with like a wider, uh, sorry, not a wider angle. What am I thinking? A, um, This will look better with a uh, longer focal length like that, because you'll actually be able to see this from uh, like closer or further away. I'm gonna take a sip of water real quick. We have any new people that uh, that just showed up? So I do have some of these. Somebody mentioned uh, this one in this stream. Sheldon from Splatoon. I haven't played Splatoon, but I like the look of this character. I probably won't make all the little details exactly, but I could get close. I like the, the uh, horseshoe crab. It's neat. 
So yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do that one next. But first, for people who just showed up, um, if you enjoy these streams, like and subscribe, you know, all that stuff. Uh, you can check out what I'm doing on Instagram and TikTok. I've been uploading uh, stuff every day there lately, and I probably will be doing that for like over a month at least. Um, but yeah, links for everything are in the description. You can also check out my Gumroad shop for all the blender tools that I make. Um, after the streams, I do upload all of these characters that I make to Patreon. So, you, you know, if you want to check them out, you can download them there. Um, and I have early access videos that you can check out there also. Right now I have five uh, unreleased stream edits. So I've been editing all these streams down. One of them was already released. You can go check that out. But five of the unreleased ones are available to view on Patreon. And I also have one unreleased tutorial there that's going to go public on July 6th. So, yeah. All right, let's move on to the next character now. Let's hide that. And we'll do... Um, We'll do uh, Sheldon. I think some parts of this are gonna be pretty easy, other parts, not so much. Okay, so let's start with the head. Start with a cube, subdivide it, shrink it. Head, not bad. So there's the head. Um, we can make these, <laughs> they're like minion eyes, except they're like steampunk. It's kind of weird, it's funny. Um, yeah, let's make that. That will use Let's just do, start with a cube and we'll do this. And I want to turn both of these sides into circles, so loop tools, circle, like that. And let's add a mirror modifier. Make sure that it's mirroring the head right there. So now we should be able to just pop it up like that and start modeling some of this. So let's let's take all of these edges right here, and I'm just gonna sh not like that. I'm gonna sharpen them like that. Ooh, maybe not. I don't want the center ones sharp. So let's just like model this basic shape right here. I'm gonna have to guess for a lot of the, the shapes going on, but this is probably, um, quite a bit skinnier to start, so. Start maybe right there.
I might look up another picture from a different angle. Okay, yeah. Instead of doing it like this, I'll just model the, the beginning and the end. So, make this pretty big. Maybe, maybe right about there. Okay, so we have like a beginning and an end roughly. Now I can put some of these in here. Like that. And I gotta make that, uh, you know, I don't know what you would call that. That thing at the base right there. That I might actually do separately. So we'll take these, extrude them out a little like that. model dib from uh, Invader Zim. That's a good idea, yeah, because I did Zim last time. That might be, let's add one more loop right here. And then I think we'll be, we'll be good. I think that's good for that, for the, um, for this part right there. I think we should do a separate piece that's, that would be better for, like, to be, like, uh, shrunk wrapped, maybe? Shrunk wrapped? Whatever. Mm, should I do that now? Maybe I can... I'll grab a plane, flip it around, actually, let's, uh, let's just duplicate this, drag it to the middle right there, edit mode, and then we can delete everything in here and create a plane, that way it'll have all of the, uh, you know, the modifiers still. So let's snap it right about there, shrink it down, shrink it down in edit mode. And I want to shrink wrap this, let's, uh, I think it's over here, yeah, shrink wrap it to that. And let's temporarily, we'll turn the subdivisions up like really high so it's smooth. Um, and that's this one, yeah. So. Oh, you know what? You can't see it because I should solidify it. Um, solidify. And we'll push it out like that. Is it going the wrong way? No, it's just uh, thin. 
how hard would it be to make the mouth animate? Not too hard. I feel like, um, you know, if I applied this, I could just inset and, uh, you know, extrude some of the faces, and I think it would be fine. Um, it wouldn't be the best topology, like this probably has some like nice edge loops, and uh, you know, I wouldn't do that, <laughs> basically. So let's see if we can actually get this into a decent spot right here. Something like that. Turn the subdivisions up, maybe a little more. Okay, now let's grab this. Actually, let's um, let's turn this down. We will subdivide this and then use loop tools to turn it into a circle like that. Um, and we can take these and extrude that out a little. Um, maybe I will just scale it down like that and extrude that out like that. I want to make sure all of this is flat because I think I was not modeling it flat. So we can squeeze this down like that. Okay, and then extrude this out some more. And we can push some of these up maybe. Let's um let's flatten let's flatten this out. And we'll flatten this out too, yeah. This will scale up. So this is gonna look a, a little broken. I think what we should do is drag it close. Maybe um, I'll turn shrink wrap off for now. I wanna drag it close and make it kind of conform to the object a little better. That looks better, yeah. Yeah, shape keys would work, too. So, yeah, these don't need to be going nearly as far, like the edge right here. So, bring that quite a bit closer. That's like, pretty good. Yeah, it is very minion-like. Let's uh, apply the scale. Yeah, gotta mess with the solidify when we do that. I'm thinking maybe we can bevel this. We'll see. It might not work that well. No, that works pretty well actually. Okay. That's pretty good. Should I apply this now? Bevel is too big. So let's apply Let's apply it right, well, I mean, it's not really applied, I guess. Apply the shrink wrap, oh wait. Apply the, so 
sorry, getting distracted. I can apply the shrink wrap and it shouldn't affect things too much, hopefully. That looks pretty good. Now, the solidify and the bevel. Let's see, I should be able to inset this. Uh, yeah, like that. I can make this a circle with loop tools, hopefully, yeah. See, maybe we can rotate this a little better on the Z. It's not bad. Let's apply that. Oop, can't in edit mode. Apply that. Oh, wait. Um, uh, it's because it was, yeah, out of place. Well, let's see if I could just pull that in. No, maybe not. kind of breaks the the bevel quite a bit. So let's just forget that. I'm just gonna back this up. Okay, let's let's move on. That's good enough. Hmm. Actually for this I wanna create a lens separately, so maybe let's um, take this and we can separate this and this can be the lens, or uh, we'll duplicate it first and then we'll separate it. Like that. Lens, oops. And then um, in here we should be able to just kind of uh, maybe flatten all these out do the same thing like that, flatten it out this way and pull it in. Now I need to hide the lens. Oh wait. Uh, oh, this, I named it wrong. Eyes, this is the lens. to be nearly as subdivided but let's um let's just duplicate this so I can apply that and then I will select these two what is it control I delete all these faces now we have this we can do this the same way we did the, um, the shy guy let's add a Subdiv like that. Oops. One. There we go. Maybe we don't use the subdiv and we actually we can put the subdiv first, smooth it out a little, and then we'll add maybe a bevel or something like that. And we'll just take these, make sure... Why do these look broken now? Did I mess something up? Uh, 
Yeah, it looks a little funky. Oh, this is why. Yeah, let's uh, apply that so it doesn't look broken. Okay, that should be better. Now we can turn this down to whatever we want. Okay, so that's... Okay, let's um... bigger like that so that it's actually you know covering where the eyes are coming out so maybe let's do the body the body I can just make pretty simple I'm thinking and then I'll do the arms and legs with a skin modifier quite as thick as the head maybe something like something like that hmm I'm going to apply it right here add a mirror and then another subdiv. And we gotta delete half. Oops. Okay, so now we actually have some spots we can extrude the legs from if we want. I don't know if that's really worth doing or not. Oops. I don't want clipping. I do want it, but... Something like that. We can use loop tools, make that a circle. Yeah, gotta be careful with clipping. Yeah, let's not do that. And, um... Hmm. Thinking. No. Yeah, I am going to do that. That's fine. But I'll ju just do this for, like, the, the pant legs, basically. Can take this and try to scale that in a little bit, like that. There we go. Not bad. similar to how I did uh, the Hollow Knight character. This needs to be quite a bit wider and just generally <laughs> not so small.
How big is the body compared to the head? Hmm. I might be pretty close. thinking let's do the let's do the neck and uh, and arms actually the arms I'm gonna reuse some of these it's just easier this way to instead of like modeling arms every single time we can just move them to the collection right here I have modeled these in previous ones and it just takes a little while so I don't want to redo it every time. How many fingers? Normal amount. Five digits. Okay, so we got this looking good then. Pretty skinny though. And we can change like the finger length and all that. Maybe the hand size slightly. Let's, um, let's subdivide all these. And we'll subdivide that once like that. So that when we, you know, if we, if we rig it, if we add an armature, it'll actually have the right amount of bones to make it like easily posable. Okay. Um, so I think what I should do now is apply this, but first let's get that armature right there. And I'll delete that for now. Then we can apply the skin modifier. Oh, you like my tutorials about uh, geometry nodes? Thank you, I'm glad they're helping. Let's create a loop right here um, and we can scale this up. Let's sharpen that, shift E. We can sharpen this too, shift E like that. So we have these gloves now. Let's put this right here and shrink that quite a bit. gloves maybe make them longer I don't know yeah it's not bad um, those almost look like knee pads I'm wondering if they are knee pads I don't know this character very well da -da -da -da. No, I don't think they are knee pads. It's like a it's like a Boy Scout uniform. It's interesting. Okay. Easy. 
Yeah, I'm I'm self-taught. And that I just watch a lot of tutorials and things like that. Let's make the sleeves. So I will make those a separate object. I'll just duplicate this. Let's add a cube again. Scale it down. Has anyone uh, seen the uh, the new videos that I've been making, the stream edits? And if so, what do you think about them? Because I've been posting them all over the place. I'm glad you're liking it, new people. stream for the long thing, or you can watch the quick fast thing that is not really like, you know, it's not, they're not good for learning and I know that, they're just meant to be entertaining. We can make a little collar, I guess. Let's, um, let's grab this, make a plane, scale it down, bring it up. Yeah, yeah, definitely, um, feels a little, it's definitely different to watch the live stream for sure. Let's, uh, subdivide that, loop tools, circle, and I'm gonna delete half right here. Should I do that? Yeah, I'll do that. Make sure we're using clipping. Boy, why is this happening? Um, oh, okay, well, let's, uh, let's not delete it yet then. that maybe and then turn clipping off and just oh yeah we still have really okay now I can just separate it like that and we can delete these faces maybe delete that and add a solidify before the subdivision 
little closer to what I was trying to do. This character is called Sheldon from the game Splatoon, I believe. So we have that, we can just make the neck pop out uh, with a skin modifier, or it doesn't really matter, honestly. We could just make it with the, the body right here because it's just gonna be a uh, cylinder, basically. And like that, let's um, flatten that quite a bit. looks a little boxy. That might be better. Okay. It's a little thin. Let's just shift E that instead. It might be a little better. Okay. So we got that. Mm, we can make this, I don't know, ascot thing, bandana. That. I'm wondering how we should do that. Um, hmm. Let's duplicate this. Should I do that? No. Let's create a plane. Scale that down. Uh, delete the only the faces, add a skin modifier and a subdiv. Go and let's um let's make another subdiv. Shifty, let's drag one up there, make it more circular. So we can start off with this just for that loop, and then we'll model these parts separately. That should be. Not too hard. It looks like it's like going around, you know, just kind of strange. Actually, let's um, maybe subdivide all this, use loop tools to make it a circle like that. And now we should be able to hopefully just kind of like, you know, drag some of these around like this. Maybe bring them closer. Something like that. And we'll see if we can flatten it. Like 
like that. just this part right here. That part can be pretty simple, just like a, uh, I'll make that a plane. Scale it down quite a bit and we will turn on, yeah, we already have face snapping on, so we'll just snap it right here and then I'll rotate it like that. And then in edit mode, Let's just rotate it 90 degrees like that. And let's add a subdiv and a solidify like that. Make sure this is, yeah, the scale is applied like that. Okay, now we can just kind of make this shape. want we could just <laughs> duplicate this I'll do it a similar way yeah let's just do it the same way Good. Let's um let's split this right here and 
Can we do that? Edge split, maybe. Um, let's just instead bevel it and just delete that center one. Thank you. Mark the root over here so it stops breaking. What if we mark it right there and it breaks over there? Okay, good to know. All right, so here we get that. Let's, um, I don't know about this. Yeah, I guess we can make this. Let's see. Let's do it with, I'll just duplicate this, separate that. And we'll add a solidify right here. Okay, so. Take this, bring it down. Now this, uh, make sure we have clipping on, we do. Will be the apron, basically. Maybe let's do a shrink wrap for this too. Sure, the solidify is. Hmm, what's going on? It just has to be turned up more, I guess. Let's add a. Oh, we already have one. Let's turn this up quite a bit. Okay, that looks alright. this up here so that we have more to work with. I don't know how well that'll work. But it'll allow us to make this quite a bit thinner. And we'll just like tighten some of these loops up. I don't think I even need the shrink wrap. I don't know why I'm like going all out with this. It's like weird. I can do the shrink wrap. I don't know. Let's keep the shrink wrap for now and I'll probably just apply it uh, later. Thank you. 
know how to do this. Can do that and take this. Something like that. I don't know if this is like crossed in the back or not, but I'll just make it connect down here. should also be split. I'll just, um, yeah, I'll split this, I just split like that, and we can just dissolve that probably. Take this, make sure it is coming down far enough like that. Yeah, so many like shapes on top of shapes, you know? I'm gonna name this. I I modeled um, Kevin the minion in uh, in a previous stream, so you can check that out. Um, person named Lasagna in the chat. So let's duplicate this and take this and see what this looks like with some of this stuff applied. So what do I have in here? Have half of it so I do need to apply this and subdiv and the shrink wrap now yeah okay hey Orlando Ronald McDonald Snoopy from like the peanuts. That's a good idea. I'll add that to the list. Oh, let's uh, delete half of this. Who, who wants Ronald McDonald? Does anybody else want Ronald? We're gonna give people nightmares. Maybe 
Maybe I'll just grab these ones and pull them out. Eh, that looks a little weird. Let's grab this. Ooh, gotta turn the clipping on. Hmm. I don't know about that. I might just not bother with the uh, the crease right there. Yeah, this is fine. Uh, we also need this front part though. So let's just bring that down. There we go. It looks <laughs> it looks pretty good, just like on its own. Basically. Okay. I think we need to finish this character up. Let's make these shoes really quick. Um, yeah, let's make these shoes really quick. I'll duplicate this. Make a cube. Scale it down. Got that. We got this. Yeah, even the the shoes look like minion shoes. This character is basically a minion. I have a uh, quail man on the list. That's a, D a Doug character. I mean, it, it is Doug. Um, let's bring this in instead, maybe? I don't know. That looks kind of weird. That's fine. We're not going to be looking at the feet too much. Let's make that a a circle. Yeah. That seems like probably enough. Let's, um, let's add one more loop in here so that I can round this out in the back slightly and, you know, just in general, it'll round it out a little. That did not seem to round it out. <laughs> this extrude scale all right that's enough for the shoes let's work on the that that helmet that horseshoe crab 
So, hmm, how should I do this one? Let's grab a, um, a round cube again, just a cube, round it out. Maybe I'll apply it. I'll apply it right here. Uh, this is the second character for those asking in the chat. I'll apply it right here. Add this back in. And we'll just take the bottom half, kind of like how we did the Shy Guy mask. We'll just select these, scale it up like that. Or actually, let's just delete these. Yeah. I don't know who we're modeling next. Um, you guys can, can decide that in the chat. So I like how round this is, but I'm thinking maybe, actually let's, uh, let's just delete half and we can mirror it. It's gonna make things easier. Let's do something like this. Whoops, I can't move them this way. Let's uh, duplicate this so we can extrude that this way. And this is upside down now, so I need to, what is that, Alt N? Flip, yeah, okay. Has anybody seen a horseshoe crab in real life? Let's um, solidify this, maybe. Solidify. There we go. I think maybe I'll add this so we actually have like a little bit of a ridge going on. needs to be underneath at least a little. How did I have the black lines around the shape? Are you talking about these? That's just um, 
what the actual shape looks like without the subdivision. Unless you, uh, I'm not, I'm not sure if that's what you mean. No, the whole body does not have to be connected when you're rigging. It's not, it's not necessary. So we have that. I think I'll just duplicate this like that. Um, did that go in the right direction? I think it did. Take this, loop slide. Let's take this whole thing right here. Let's flatten it like that for now. And this is gonna be like the, the tail, I guess. If you check my channel, I have kind of a lot of videos that are similar to that about easy rigging. And I have one that's like getting started with animation too. So I already made those, you can go check them out. I will probably make more eventually that are similar, but uh, not, um, you know, probably not anytime really soon, just because I have other stuff planned. I kind of want to make all of these separate pieces, so separate by loose parts, then this I can, let's see, this I'm just gonna move like that so that I can, you know, angle it like that basically, that's what I'm doing. Changing the pivot points. So yeah, let's let's shape these or put them in place now. So this maybe should be back slightly like that. I'm not really sure. This might be too far back. Let's parent these in a chain like that, or parent this to this. Then this should be parented to that. Yeah, okay. I'm not gonna put the spikes. I just don't want to. Um, let's make sure these are actually like angled above the, the apron.
All right, so maybe let's um, let's rig this. So I'll take this, and I think everything is in a decent spot, probably. So let's just name these. I think Control, yeah, Control F two bones, and I want to set the name. I want to set the suffix. So this is the left side of our character, so I'll just append everything everything with um, dot L like that. Now, yeah, that, that has dot L. And I can symmetrize that. Uh, what's going on? Do I have a hidden bone somewhere? Oh, I see the problem. So I need to set the origin to the 3D cursor, maybe. Now let's see if the sim symmetrize works properly. Yeah, okay, cool. <laughs> Scared of spikes? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm terrified. I've just been working on this character for like a long time now and I wanna finish it up, so. Starting to get a little lazy, I guess. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah. Um, let's see if automatic weights works. Yeah, it works pretty well. Let's make it so that um, this is parented to this bone. Uh, haha. And I should mirror, I should apply this and then turn this into a separate piece to do the same thing. So we'll separate by selection. I'm not gonna worry about the origin point. It should be fine. And we can parent this the same way, but to this bone instead with a uh, control P bone. There. Oh yeah, I didn't do the mouth. I can do the mouth really quick. I, I don't think that should take too long. But let's, um, let's rig this Bring this up. Uh, let's move this before. Yeah, it'll make it smoother. Select all these. That looks a little weird. Let's, um, how should I do this?
fine. Oh. Let's take the head and apply it right here. Give this a save first. Apply it right there. So the mouth will make this one right here. Let's, um, yeah, let's do that. Make this. Let's, uh, hmm. Mirror modifier up here. And we'll delete all these faces right there. We're just gonna model half. So let's, um, let's see if we can extrude this inward. Looks all right. Not my favorite, but it's okay. So we got that. Let's uh, see if I can yeah, snap a loop in here like that. And we'll add uh, two teeth. So that we'll just do a plane like this. Let's open the mouth a little further. Okay, so this Basically what we're gonna do is just make the outline of the teeth that we want. Let's move this actually to the middle. Like that. Add this in here. Then we can add a edge split, add a solidify, and maybe the subdiv. We need to turn this all the way down like that. And we'll add a bevel also. Or we could just bevel it. That, I think the bevel alone might be fine like that. Okay, so let's um, shade everything smooth. We'll auto smooth some of these things. So, auto smooth the shoes too, the teeth, these, all these things, basically. If you hold Alt, it'll apply to everything, basically. So, yeah. Now, this we're gonna have to apply. Um, we'll apply 
that and this. Shade it smooth. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, I forgot about these ones. No, I didn't learn 3D in school. I just watched a lot of tutorials and things like that. Okay, so let's start adding some colors. Bring, is this the one? Yeah, let's picture back in. Now we are gonna have to unwrap a few things. So we'll just add the palette in and link everything. So thinking this and that might be the only things. Those look black, but I think they're fine. So let's smart UV project like that. Select everything. Okay. Now let's get these going. What color is that? It's like yellow. Uh, let's take the lenses, add a different, just like glass material too. And I'll solidify this. That should be fine. Let's just take a, instead of this, we'll just change it to the glass shader. EV glass is just not very good. Let's go into here. I'm just gonna um... No, you know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. It'll be fine for uh, when we're using uh, cycles. It'll be fine, which is what I'm gonna use. So let's hide that for now so we can work on everything else. So let's Get the skin color locked in, basically. I don't know if I'm gonna get closer than that because this one's too pale, I think. Yeah, it's a little too pale. Let's make the inside of the mouth, I guess just like a, like a red or something. Dark red. Expand that. Dark, I gotta expand the selection. Okay, that's better. Like that. Let's get the gloves. Uh, I'm assuming those are just brown. That seems fine. Could use this probably for the shoes also. I'll take the the bottom part like that. Expand that a little. Um, make it lighter. So now the, the suit is looking pretty gray to me. So basically everything except for the neck. Yeah, so control I, invert that selection. And we'll just make this 
I guess like a gray. Right there. Apron will make. Mm, yeah, I'm ha having a hard time telling what color that is. I think it's like a brown also. Take these, make them a little darker. Something like that. This, uh, this we can make metal. Stuff. Oh, darn it. Forgot this, too. Okay. What are we missing? The horseshoe crab. Um. We'll make it, like... That color maybe? Maybe darker. I think that's that's probably fine. Take this. Is that black or maybe make it just like a really dark brown? Okay, so now these I'm gonna make look metal. These will be metal, and these will also be metal. Well, I'll, I'll add two. Like that. Okay, so let's make these just the same color for now, I guess. Wait, did I select both? both, make it that kind of gold color. That looks good. Do I want to make these metal? Yeah. So let's grab some of these loops. to the same color as the uh, the bandana or whatever the mask I don't I don't know what you would call that something like that and on the inside we'll just make that white like that Let's, um, I don't know what color those eyes are supposed to be. It's hard to tell. I'll do like a very pale green. Like that. Make 
this black and we can take this and shrink it all right let's see how this looks with Actually, let's, can I parent everything over to the head? Parent everything to the horseshoe crab? What happens when I do that? Some of these things break. Parent, keep, transform. That seems to do what I want. No, it doesn't. Okay. Yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's be done with this character. It's been a while. glass is a little weird. I'm not sure if I like the glass or not, really. It's almost better without the lenses. Okay. Next one. Um, gotta take, take a sip of water and get rid of that. Who's here and what do you want? Yeah, let's um, let's model Snoopy next. I like that one. Uh, let me just look up some references because I did not get references yet for Snoopy. So just gotta do that really quick. Hmm. All right, I found one. Add dib to the list. All right. Um. Let's hide all these. And change the reference. Mega Man. That's a good one. So, yeah, round cube, just do some uh, subdividing. Let's yeah, subdivide it once to sphere. Uh, I just prefer the way this looks right here. It's a matte cap. You can change it up there. 
Yeah, I'm using cycles. <clears throat> There, we're done. It's Snoopy. <laughs> That's pretty easy. Alright, next character. Let's grab this. Maybe make these scaled out a little bit. Like that. Thinking maybe we can grab all of these and uh, scale them in like that. Maybe smooth it out slightly. Okay, I think this might be a good base for the head. Oops. Let's um, let's just move on to the body. Actually, we can duplicate. Uh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, I, I need to make a collection. Snoopy. Add this in here like that. Okay. Duplicate this. Just bring it down here, and I'll just. Use a cube. Okay. This one's pretty easy so far. All the, the shapes are very like simple, you know? So doing that, I'll just inset that. Do I even need to do that? Nah. Yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay. You usually only use cycles when making a 360 video. Well, what else do you make though? I feel like I, I just use cycles for stills mostly. If I'm doing animations, a lot of the time I will use Eevee just because it's quicker. So, hmm. So I can do a collar. Um, for that, let's just take a plane, bring it up right here, scale it in. Delete the only only faces like that. We will add a subdivision, a skin modifier, and then another subdivision. So Shift D, bring that down here. That. There we go.
collar. We could angle it a little. How do you get the arrows to pull on? Up here. They're um, called gizmos. Um, you can turn them on like that. You, if you want, you can have more, so you can like rotate and scale things too, but I just use the shortcuts for that. I just like having move turned on. So for the arms, I could also just use maybe a cube. And we need to mirror it. Mirror to, we'll do the head. Bring it down like that. in here or maybe just this whole face I can alt s no, I don't need to do that I'll just drag it make it a little flatter Let's do a similar thing and use a, yeah, let's use another cube. Cubes for everything. Cubes for everybody. Let's change this to increment so we can snap it like that and turn it back to face. should be bigger. Maybe like that. Yeah, it really depends for me whether I'm using a cube or not. Too far? I'm not sure. Okay. 
Ooh, I don't know about that. That looks a little weird. Let's maybe... Thin that out. Can I... I can't do a loop like that, can I? Yeah. Before I do that, I am going to put a loop like that. And then I can do this again. sure the best way to do this. It would almost just be easier to use two separate objects. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Let's do this a million times. Yeah. if we want. Change some of these a little, round it out. It was probably fine the way I did it the first time, but it was bothering me for some reason. Uh, yeah. Not really liking this. Just looks a little weird. The feet look huge, but proportionally they're pretty big over here too. use another cube because why not yeah they do look a little flat um, these are a lot more round I will probably go back and alter them even more because I don't know when to stop. Okay, so new idea. Let's do it like this. We'll make 
this. Maybe like that. Make it as long as we think it should be. Which is pretty long. Something like that, maybe. have it where we want it, I'm gonna apply this, or, hmm, which one should I apply? I'll apply this one. Yeah, let's do it. Apply one more on top like that and now we can come in here and we'll do some proportional editing stuff instead and I feel like this hopefully will result in like something that looks a little cleaner that the right one? I feel like it kind of has to be. So let's inset that, see if loop tools lets us make that a clean circle. Oops. That's not bad. Let's extrude that up. That is a little smoother looking now. submarine feet ocarina let's do a cube for the nose the scale? I probably just did. Um, so for the... Actually, I feel like this could be a lot smoother right here, but I'm not going to worry about that. So I got to make the ears. I'll do a plane. And I want to mirror it to the head, like that, scale that down, okay, let's just line these up right here, and we'll do some subdivide, uh, solidify stuff like that. Let's just, um, yeah, make the shape that we want. So, come down about here. Something like that.
It's almost a little pointier. Now the solidify should let us, yeah, add some thickness like that. I think it's fine that they're kind of like hanging like that. It'll be okay. Um, oh yeah, so we gotta do the, the eyes and the mouth. For that, I'm gonna use some curves. So we'll take this. This is like a curve thing that I made with uh, geometry nodes. And it just lets you like draw. Draw with curves and make it thick like this. So this is just a curve in here. Similar to the, um, <clears throat> similar to the, what am I trying to say? The, uh, skin modifier. Except we can come in here, delete it, and is this the one? Draw. Yeah. So now we can just kind of draw a smile like that. Oh, we need to turn on surface like that. way too thick so let's change the thickness I think that's middle radius like that Let's duplicate this and delete it in here and we can just draw this on like that. Now I just need to make sure this is meeting up properly in the center. Oh, hey, doing some weird stuff. Uh... Seems not happy. Oh, maybe I can just take the end radius? No, start radius? Yeah, I'll use that. 1.3, like that, something like that. I wonder why this breaks. I'm not sure. That's interesting. So now let's maybe make this thicker a little bit like that. And I'm gonna convert both of these to mesh like that. This one, did I already do it? Yeah, I guess I did it to both. 
Oh no, I didn't do it to this one. Convert to mesh. I'm gonna throw a mirror back on here. And these are disconnected, so we can just delete that, like that. Um, this must be, a, is that a, how do I make it not sharp? Actually, let's just delete that like this. We'll take this and just push it to the center like that. That's a little cleaner. Okay, I think we're done. Let's shade everything smooth. That looks pretty good. Now let's texture this. Oop, UV. <laughs> Those eyes, scary. So this one shouldn't be too hard because it's all basically black and white. But we do have to unwrap these. Smart UV project, like that. Oh, and I want to use the palette, link the materials, oh, and this too. Uh, I gotta apply this, so apply that, apply this. So Snoopy is mostly white. And then we'll grab some of the things that are supposed to be black. Like that. Let's grab the ear right here. See if maybe in setting that. Oh, that's not what I wanted. that. Um, yeah, I mean, there are like other spots. I think Snoopy has like a, a spot. Looks a little weird when I do it like this, but it's like, whatever. This probably, yeah, it makes the shape a little weird when I do that, so. It's just not, that seems fine. All right, add it to the lineup. gonna take a sip of water and then we'll figure out who we're making next. Yeah, Snoopy definitely looks good from the side, from like straight on, it's kind of strange. Yeah, we'll make uh, we'll make black hat now. I just have to look up a picture because I don't think I didn't get one. Yeah. Just a moment while I look up a good picture.
Okay. <clears throat> okay. Let's uh, turn all this off and we'll load up that picture. Black hat. So this is from a show that I haven't seen called Villainous. So let's start off with the head. I think this is gonna be a skin modifier one for sure for the body, but let's start off with the head. Let's do something like that. basic face shape. Let's do the hat, which is also just going to be a cube. Let's do, uh, whoops. This actually, I think what I'll do is delete the bottom face like that. Actually, scale everything to be maybe like close to the same width as the head. We'll take this, we'll just scale it out like that. And I should mark this. <laughs> This looks like, um, this looks like Pharrell with like Pharrell's big, uh, weird hat. I don't know. Okay. So tighten that up like that. Can also do the same thing for mm, the top like that. Um, this we should add a solidify and I'm thinking at some point we'll have to uh, apply it so that we can curve the sides up. Or maybe we can use the simple deform. I don't know how well that'll work. <laughs> it's pretty funny. This is probably not going to give me the effect that I want. Make a big candy cane hat. Okay, so yeah, I was thinking to get that shape, we might have to apply some of this. But first, let me just scale this out. Actually, no, we'll, we'll wait. But I think the head should be 
even slimmer. And we can make the hat slimmer too. duplicate this just in case something goes wrong I want to be able to go back uh, I forgot to make the thing over here too black hat okay so let's take this is probably enough. Do that. Make sure it's not cutting through. And then we can take the top. Scale that up a little. take this whole thing right here, scale that up. This should be a circle. Okay, so I'll take this and I'll change this to sharp. I think that should work. Yeah, that's the shape I was looking for. And I want to do the same thing basically for this. And that looks pretty good. Make something to make your depression go away. Yeah, I, I don't know if I can do that. Sorry. That's a. Uh, that's a personalized uh, remedy, you know? Okay, so we have the top hat, and I think, I think it looks pretty good. Let's make the smile, which I'm thinking will be another shrink wrap ordeal. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the eyes yet. I was just thinking about that. I feel like I could do a shrink wrap thing for the eyes too, to get them like matched to the face properly. Or I might just um, maybe apply the head, take some parts from the head and, you know, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, what, what channel is this on? I haven't heard of this show before. Let's uh, shrink wrap this to the head and we'll turn this up really high until, you know, until this is good. So, whoops. Just move this closer like that. Let's add a solidify also push that in the opposite direction. So this, I think, I can probably... I'm thinking. This I could... mirror it. Uh, make sure clipping's on. So we'll do this, and we'll just make the basic shape. So, probably something like this. I 
and we're going to have to add maybe we can add a subdivision but first or right here like that mm. so this is definitely going to have to be down more I'm thinking we're going to do a lot of um, what am I trying to say a lot of proportional editing probably this should be the opposite though yeah that's looking a little better That's looking pretty good uh, in terms of the shape, you know. I don't think I really need to do much more than that. Um, so maybe we can figure out how many subdivisions we really need. That looks like it might be enough. So let's apply this, apply that, apply the shrink wrap, and we don't really need the solidify right now. We'll add it back on later. So for this, I'm thinking instead of it being, you know, squares like this, first let me duplicate this because there's a chance I'll mess this up. Duplicate that. Okay. So. I think what I'll do is like use the, I could either use the knife tool or maybe if I can, maybe if I just triangulate everything, I think that's under face, triangulate. Not exactly what I'm looking for. Maybe I can dissolve that. Is this going back far enough? I think it's fine. Okay, so we have this. Now let's see if we can triangulate this. I think this is what we want, basically. these could be even wider so like we'll take some of these like this and we're gonna split maybe not the end ones like that we can Split these, so right click, edge split. Now the solidify is going to help us out. Maybe bevel. See how well this works. Oh, do I need this? Is that still a face? broken but why are these connected this should still work yeah this should still work let's just grab Let's hide both of these. I can't. Darn. What is going on here? Shift A. 
H. Delete just the edge. Select all of this. Face. Alt H. It's good. Okay. It must be backwards. Alt N flip. Now it seems to be working. So solidify. Let's do it like this. This doesn't need to be nearly as high anymore because we're not using the shrink wrap anymore. So we have this. I'm thinking of maybe kind of putting like lips around it, um, just like a thin black line, because right now them sticking up like this, just like on the face, uh, you know, on the surface, looks a little weird to me. Let me set this to zero, make it pop out a little more. Okay, so. To do that, I can just bring back this mouth right here and just select the whole outside. Um, duplicate that, separate it like that. Let's add a skin modifier. Wait. Yeah, this doesn't need to solidify. It needs the skin modifier and a subdiv like that. So edit mode. That looks like too much even. Maybe I, I can just, uh, you know, make it thinner and then pull it out um, because it doesn't have to be directly on the face like that. It can stick out a little. And this I'll make. to one, maybe, something like that. Let's parent this to the teeth. Okay. All right, that's good for that. Now I'm thinking we'll do a similar thing maybe for the eyes, I'm not sure. Um, let's see. Yeah, yeah, let's do a similar thing. Let's do another plane. Um, and this is gonna be uh, asymmetrical, so, oops, bring it up right here, rotate it, like that. Now we will, once again, turn this up pretty high, we'll shrink wrap this to the head, <clears throat> add a solidify, and then a, uh, a subdivision surface like that. We'll make this be zero and like 0 0.05 or something like that. So now we should be able to kind of just make the shape hopefully.
so this should be out by like that. This should be down more. Just take this and rotate the whole thing like that. That's pretty close. It's getting closer. Okay. Yeah, I feel like the, the smile could have gone up even higher because this goes up like, <laughs> like all the way, basically. Um, I wonder if I can just kind of like fudge it surprisingly well. smile's basically like coming off of the face at this point, which is kind of neat. Kind of like that. Um, yeah, I just gotta get this looking right. I feel like that might be as close as I'm gonna get with the eye. It's like pretty close. So I could just move this down a little and try to make the eye like a little bigger. that is good for the eye. We can duplicate that just in case and then we'll apply the shrink wrap right here. That way we can kind of like, you know, move it wherever and also turn this down however far we want.
cool. So I think this should be duplicated also. Smooth the, the smile out a little. Okay. Um, now the monocle is easy. That's just gonna be a plane like this. Want to do that. Shrink it. And we'll add a solidify there too. Uh, in the opposite direction. Make sure this is, yeah, make sure that's applied. And we'll bevel it too, because bevels look nice. Catch the light. Okay, so this I feel like should be closer to the middle and bigger maybe, like as big as we can make it without it cutting into stuff. What do you mean it's just on one side? The monocle? Uh, thank you. Yeah, so for the eyebrows, I will just use a curve, whoops, not that, this one. I'll duplicate this curve, use this, and uh, move that into the collection. And I'll just draw the eyebrows on, and I'll do that with a mirror modifier also. Mirror modifier. So let's shrink this. Uh, Right here, maybe right about there. And I don't want clipping on, yeah, or merging either. So, should be able to just do something like that, maybe. Ooh. That looks, that looks funny. Okay, let's uh, turn cursor, or yeah, turn surface off and just do something like that. Now we just have to move it into place. up maybe to like 12 point oh oh five something like that and I feel like that should be even thinner okay so we got that mm. I don't like how far away it is from the uh, the origin so I'm just gonna move it back over here we got that. Now let's work on the body, I suppose. Let's uh, let's just do skin modifier style. Oh, this is big. Let's scale everything down like that. Apply the scale and make sure that everything in here is looking okay still. I think it's fine, probably.
Okay. Um, yeah, skin modifier. So let's bring in a plane. I'm gonna mirror, skin modifier, subdiv. Merge everything the center and we'll get started. So, long legs. Let's bring this up. Something like that. We might have to make the head even smaller or maybe just the character taller. Let's make the head smaller. Actually, move this up here. Okay. So, maybe hips here, something like that. Let's extrude that up. Turn this into the root. And we're just getting like a basic shape right now. Bigger. So, uh, looks like how many fingers? Okay, four digits. Okay. Let's just uh, do this real quick. Let's make those small, make this one big. Well, extrude that out like that. So, probably pretty long fingers, proportionally, like big hands. That's probably long enough for the arms, but the hands could maybe be like a little bigger. That's probably good. Now let's make sure we have that and make sure we subdivide these. Subdivide two, subdivide this one. Try to make these a little more square by scaling them up slightly at the end. Should be fine. And gecko hands. This and here, so we can have neck. I don't know what this character's neck really looks like, so I'm kind of just winging it, making a, a simple body. Now let's make the chest stick out a little more, I suppose. This might be better to do um, afterward. Yeah, let's do that. Legs, that's probably a, a decent width.
Okay. Now I'm thinking we can. How do we do this? Let's. Let's make an armature right here, and then we'll just not use it for now. We'll turn it back on later. And we can get rid of the armature modifier. We can, uh, I'll duplicate this just in case. Actually, let me rename it first, body, duplicate it, get rid of that so we can apply some of this. So we can apply the mirror and the skin. Um, I will add the mirror back in. We just have to apply it that way or else it'll break, unfortunately. But we can delete, hmm, have to put this in there, I guess. And then we can delete the other half like that. <clears throat> okay, now I should be able to model the I'll model the sleeves like into the character and I can like make the chest stick out more. Like that. Turn clipping on. I guess we could take all this, that, and pull it out slightly. Oh, I don't want to do that actually because it'll mess with the armature. Maybe just right here. Okay, so now what? We should make, yeah, I'll, I'll make the sleeves be built in. So I can just like put a loop right here and we'll take this loop and I think what I'll do actually is dissolve a whole bunch of these and then add them back in later like that we'll take this and scale it up well shift e like that and add this and actually we'll take this bring that in Sorry about the, the truck outside. Okay, so we have this now that we can use as the sleeve. Let's maybe make this a little bigger too because it's pretty consistent width. Okay, so now we can just subdivide this or uh, you know add some loop cuts rather like that so we have the sleeves built in now um, if we actually I could make those closer I'll just grab this oops no I guess not what I'll do I'll grab that is that everything yeah and I can just bring that closer that way okay so we have the sleeves um, I think for the, the coat, the rest of the coat, I'll do as a separate object and it's just gonna kind of go through stuff, but that's fine. We'll start with, uh, 
how should I do this? Let's duplicate the body, okay? And this I'll name uh, coat, not cat, coat. And we can delete a lot of this stuff. And I'm just basically gonna be using a lot of uh, this as like reference. Like, uh, so we have like this to work from now. Uh, so let's stick a solidify and see how that looks. So it doesn't need to be in the front like that, so we can separate it. And this is still mirrored, so we can turn off clipping and just separate this like that. Or better, just delete it like that. <laughs> that's, that's fine. Oh wait, I don't wanna delete the back though. I just wanna delete up to up to somewhere, up to here, yeah, like that. So yeah, this it's much easier just working from this. Let's move it out and then we can just extrude that down uh, pretty far, like close to the, the feet. Oops. Everything down about here, something like that. Uh, maybe turn clipping on for this. Okay, so we have that. Um, we have like lapels that are sticking up. So I'll take, well, first of all, I don't think we need that loop as few loops as possible. I don't want that many loops. So this should stick up pretty far, I suppose, like up next to the face, something like that. That should be rounder. I mean, most of this should be rounder, honestly. Uh, maybe on the Z, like that. We can just take all these, pull them out slightly or whatever. Maybe that's all we'll do. Like that, seems fine. Um, I think, yeah, it's supposed to be pointy. So we can just drag that down. And actually, is this supposed to be down too? It doesn't matter, it's fine. Now, the other part Right there, we can maybe extrude from here. Uh, I didn't want it to be clipping. Um, let's try this again.
looks a little weird. It's like breaking over here. I'm glad you're liking the stream. Thanks for dropping by. What does this look like if I subdivide it even more? It's still a little strange in there. I'm not really sure how I should fix that. I feel like it's uh, like a solidify problem or something like that. I'm not really sure. problem with it just merging the way that it is. Doodle, doodle, duty, duty man. I don't know what that is. It's a trap. Let's do uh, Alt N, flip the normals and add a solidify onto here. See how that looks. <clears throat> Excuse me. Origin to oh can't do that. Okay, let's do this. Let's move it up then. Okay, this might be good. that now uh, and it looks like it's pretty broken so move that in we turn clipping back on for fixing this
Okay. So, it's sharp now. The collar. The, there's a tie also. Um, which, just do it like this. Whoops. I guess it's not coming down that far. I'll just bring it down to like maybe right here, something like that. Let's uh, shrink wrap them like this. Uh, do that. Let's grab this again and uh, we'll move it. That seems fine. Um, Yeah, I can I can see you in the chat. You don't have to repeat yourself so many times. I don't know if I'll get to it today or not. I think that's going to be enough. Oh, let's see. Yeah. I'll apply this. Apply that. Let's finish this character up with some shoes. Yep, this will be saved. Let's take this and make sure that this is, oop, first of all, this does not need to be nearly as high. Scale that out a little. So we have that. Let's make these shoes.
Let's maybe see if we can bevel this. If it breaks it, nah, it looks fine. Now, can I extrude this? Uh, looks a little weird. Maybe I'll do this. It's a little strange, a little weird. That's enough. Let's grab this. Move everything up. I think that's done, maybe. Oh, except for the cane. Um, the cane, we will use the skin modifier. So, put that right here. at center, skin, subdiv. Okay, and we will Let's um, move the origin to like up here. 
and also bring back this so we can rig it. Come in here. Um, maybe dissolve some of these ones that we don't need and we'll subdivide that one. Um, maybe bring that out very slightly. And this one also like that. So mm, now let's see if this works. I'm gonna deselect everything in the middle. rename everything the same way, like that. And we'll symmetrize. Hopefully this works, because I don't want to go all the way back, necessarily. Um, no, I don't sell NFTs. And I, I don't plan on doing it. I don't like NFTs. So let's see if we can parent this up nicely. Um, all right, let's set this to auto IK and turn this down to like two or something like that. Okay, so this is working okay. Yeah, we don't do NFTs here. But let's take this and apply the mirror come in here and separate everything by loose parts like that so we can parent this to the uh, like the skeleton or what I'll do is wonder if this will work do something like that do these have the proper names L R yeah cool okay take this um, come in here, control P, parent to bone, got to do the same thing over here now. Yeah, quick feet. All right. And, uh, yeah. So now let's pose this. So let's do a fist, change this to individual origins. We'll change this to a fist. Ooh, I gotta move the armature modifier right there, make it a little better. So this is out here, elbows sticking out. Like that, something like that anyway. This would probably be better with bendy bones, but I'm not gonna worry about that. Let's do auto IK and see how this works. There we go. 
not bad. Coming up, we'll take these, uh, yeah, down like that. Actually, let's just take all of them like this, except for these. No, I'm not going to look at it financially. I don't want to go into all of the reasons why uh, I don't like NFTs, but I don't like NFTs, so. I don't think there's a good reason to do them except for money. And I don't think that's a good enough reason for me. I think this is just about done. Um, let's forgot about this. Let's just uh, move these out. All right, let's texture this now. It's been a while. Spent a while on this one. It was fun though. It's a good one. Let's uh, so yeah, let's go to UV editing. We're gonna have to unwrap a few of these things, but let's see which ones. Um, so add the palette. Let's link all the materials. So we're gonna have to unwrap quite a few of these things. Unwrap this. Forgot about the. Uh, I think I have to turn this into a mesh. Like that. So that. The coat. The cane. Let's do the teeth too. And we're gonna have to do the lips also. So most of this needs to be unwrapped.
What color is this? It looks kind of gray. I'm not good at colors, so someone's gonna have to help me with that. We can do it this way. Let's do that, see where it falls. Okay, so it's this color. <laughs> I should do this more. Okay, um, so that is, those are supposed to be gloves, it looks like. So that's the only exposed skin, as far as I can tell, that and the neck. So come in here, make it like a very gray blue. I don't know, it still looks too blue. Like, I could just make it. Okay, so lips, I'm just gonna make black like they're an outline basically, just to contain the teeth. The teeth are, yeah, okay. They're like pale green. Like a blue green. <laughs> he found the, the hex code. It's funny. That one looks better. Let's grab the monocle now. Um, that can just make like that the hat is gonna be black obviously black hat and then we'll take maybe just this one and make that this like reddish whoops where'd I go nice this be black. Oh, it doesn't have the palette. Okay. So I'm gonna have to hmm. let's uh let's apply this. Um apply that and Yeah, we'll apply this too. And that will let us just paint the eye on. <laughs> yeah, it's a little silly, but it's fine. And I can take maybe this down here, like that. Or just select the whole loop I 
Uh, it looks a little bad. <laughs> Maybe it was better just looping all the way around. Yeah, that seems fine. This one will make shiny or something. Oh, uh, I didn't make one yet. This shiny and we'll just take the roughness to like 0.1, something like that. Um, eventually I'll go through and fix some of the shading things. So this is gonna be black also. Yeah, I could model the pupil, but I, I don't wanna, I wanna be done with this character, so I'm just gonna finish it up. Let's make this black, and then we'll fix up parts of these, parts of, yeah. So this one maybe can be that gray color, uh, like that. Thank you. And this can be black. The pants are like a little more gray and the inside of this, I'm using the solidify though, so I'd have to apply that. I'm just gonna leave it, it'll, it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll be fine. Okay, let's take all of this and yeah, and just make it a little lighter. It's not the most noticeable. Okay. Now the cane, oh, I gotta do the fingers, I guess. make this a little lighter. A little too light. That's good. This is black. And the shoes, I'll make, um, I'll make the bottoms black, I suppose. to both, <laughs> forgot. Okay. Okay, there we go. This one came out pretty good, I think. Let's see if I can parent everything to the head. Q 
keep transform. That seem, seems to be working. All right. Let's uh, line this up. Take a drink. Let's see what else is on the list. Um, maybe end with something that won't take me as long. So we did Black Hat. We did Snoopy. model dib. It's not a bad one. Actually, I gotta, um, gotta look up a picture. So I'll leave this up while I look for a good picture. Dib. Let's make a new collection. Oh, dib. Okay. So let's hmm, think about what shape the head is. Okay. Let's uh, let's start with the head. Do something like this. Body about the same height as the head, basically. Okay, let's see if we can make, make this look correct now. Yeah, let's just work on the profile first. Don't don't worry about that. This will be better. 
or I want to delete this too. Ah, darn. Okay. And maybe just work with uh, loops instead of insets like that. And we'll see how well that works. I'm not ex entirely sure. Like Shift E maybe. from this angle, I'm thinking, let's add a loop and maybe we'll, uh, we'll mirror this. Mirror. That. Something like this. Look from the top. So, yeah. We'll make the back a little skinnier and the front a little wider. Yeah, I did Zim already, so this is like <laughs> kind of learning from what I did with Zim and what I think I could do better. I feel like that's a good shape. I think that's a pretty good shape. So now that I have this, I could like tighten this up if I feel like it. Maybe let's just turn the crease down for everything like that and see how that looks. That looks decent. I think we'll do the neck probably separately, but let's see what it looks like when I do it like this, because it might end up looking okay. of you from the uh, from the discord server if any of you are interested in uh, in modeling we have a challenge going on right now it just started Got the head. I think that came out better than I was expecting. Um, the body we'll do with just a cube again. Uh, it's in the description. Yeah, you don't really have to do anything to join the challenge other than submit, um, but the link for Discord is in the description. Let's, uh, yeah, tighten that up maybe, something like that, or maybe no. The contest is, or it's a, it's a challenge, it's like a themed challenge. So the theme is, let me think. The theme is food this time. Um, there are no like big prizes. I was gonna do a, uh, you can get any of my products from Gumroad for free. I'll just give you a coupon, coupon code.
eventually I will do more um, challenges, like, you know, that actually have prizes. But uh, I don't have any, like, sponsors or anything like that right now that are, uh, you know, gonna help me do that. We did have a XP pen a while back um, provided a, a tablet for the first challenge, and that worked out pretty well. I was I was happy with that. An XP pen, they make good stuff too, in my opinion. Then I'll do a skin modifier for the legs and the arms, I suppose. Oops, center. And we'll mirror skin subdiv. I feel like the head is too big actually, which is kind of funny. I feel like that shouldn't happen. Actually, let's dissolve that for now so that we can make this thicker. Actually, let's uh, get rid of that for now, and I think what I want to do is first let's give this a little bend. that. Okay, um, let's apply this 
here. You can come in here and uh, you know tighten this up. Do something simple. Do cube, mirror, mirror the head. Wow, that's a long time. something like that. We can shrink that down a little bit. This is the last character I'm going to be doing today. You can you can still recommend things, but uh, I'm not going to model anymore after this one. So let's make these shoes. Uh, I'll just duplicate this. Bring it over here. Oh, actually, let's replace this first with a cube. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, let's duplicate this. And this is going to be the coat. Um, 
So let's just delete the front. And, whoops. Up to there. Let's just delete all those faces and all of those in here. Wow, okay, um, and these. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the head is massive, right? It's like I'm doing the feet and then, yeah, the head is just huge. Um, but like proportionally, it's like almost the same height as the, the body right there in the picture. So it still might be a little bigger than in the picture, but it's like, you know, it's supposed to be huge. That's like a joke with the character in the show, is that his head is, head is massive and people make fun of him. and maybe we can scale it out. Yeah, looks all right. This, yeah, it's called screencast keys. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's already in Blender. You could just turn it on under edit preferences and search for screencast keys. That's what this is right here. Let's maybe make this 0.02. It's weird how it does that. It like sticks it out right there more. Is it because of the sharpness? It is, okay, cool. So let's take this and pull it in like that. That looks better. Maybe I'll make this stick out more. on the hmm. let's do the glasses Turn 
off merge. So pretty big. I think that's decent. So for the hair, let's start with a plane. And I feel like I know what Div's hair is shaped like. So, oops, bring that up a little just so I can see it. So we need to make this stick off the back, and I believe it's kind of like triangular, like top of his head basically. And uh, maybe I should look up a picture just in case. Dib hair. I know they show it from the top sometimes in the show. It's like, it's actually kind of the opposite. It's pointy in the front. Um, I think I did Zim in the last one, maybe. Pretty sure it was the last one. Yeah, this is a weird hair. Maybe I can instead all start with just this shape. And separate it by selection like that. And we'll change the origin. Oh. This uh, Wait. Yeah, this should go to the head. And then we can change the origin. Uh, maybe not. connecting to the edge right there. Let's just do it like that instead. So, let's 
turn that down and maybe just add like a loop right here. And a loop down there. separate this. Separate by selection. Then I can work on this separately, which is going to be a lot easier. So we got this, um, gotta think about how to, how to shape this properly because there is one spike right here, maybe another spike like that, something like that. so it's like in the head. Let's see what this looks like, like this. Again, maybe I can apply it. Oops. I have to apply both of these. And then I can put the mirror back on. Turn the clipping on. All right, so. this quite a bit pointier if I want now. Oh yeah, I can also delete half. And if we want, we can do another uh, spike. there should be like one more spike maybe but from where looks 
looks a little weird. I think that maybe it should be coming from here instead. Let's turn this into a circle and yeah. Oop, wait, I don't want to extrude it. Yeah, like that. See if that works. It's okay. Do I know if there's a way to make particles go in reverse? Um, there's gotta be a way. Um, but off the top of my head, no, I don't know. I don't use particles like a whole lot. So I'm not the best person to answer that, probably. It depends what you mean reverse like if it's already baked okay yeah I don't know I just it doesn't look right
a little better. Okay, um... Let's move on, let's move on. Let's duplicate this, turn off subdivision. He doesn't really have a mouth, it's just the bottom part of his head. Um, let's... Did I already name this? Head. Let's duplicate this and hide it. And we'll see if we can apply this, maybe. I'm thinking for the ears and the nose, I feel like we need to apply it right here. Let's apply all mirror with clipping turned on. Now we'll just delete half. And for the nose, that is going to be maybe right here. Um, Turn on auto smooth. It's a little weird. It's kind of funny. Let's maybe just do that. That might help. the whole bottom like that. Now the ear, we can maybe, it's pretty low, so maybe like here, something like that. And extrude that back like this and flatten it on the Y. Oh, <laughs> from this angle it looks weird. I don't like it. Maybe I'll do it from here instead.
That looks pretty good. All right, let's shade everything smooth. This we can shade flat. Um, yeah, we're just gonna auto smooth everything. This. smooth that but would like this higher that looks good this we can just keep shaded smooth also and this let's duplicate this and use that for the glasses Definitely need to unwrap these because they were made with the skin modifier. Okay. So, black hair and jacket. Jacket. Let's make all this black. All right, this, he's pretty pale. And maybe on the yellow side. Something like that. I should do that for the hands also. face on it though. This I can make black. Oh hey thank you for the donation for the super chat. I appreciate it. From Sparthro. Oh wow I'm glad I could help you out. I hope everything works out when you go to university. Hmm. I like brown. 
Let's make these shiny. And this can make like, yeah, brown. In direct, make the particle particles go in the direction of an object. Okay, so instead of like emitting from it, it's like starting away from it and going towards it. I don't know. Um, again, I'm sure there is a way, like there must be a way. I know how to do that with geometry nodes. not do that. This is fine. Okay, let's move everything back into place. And actually, let's uh, parent everything up, so. Like that. Yeah, cool, that works. Okay. Okay. There's what we got. So, yeah, that's gonna be all for this one but you know thanks everybody who uh who dropped by everybody who's still here um and for people who aren't yet consider uh subscribing to the channel um you can also support me by seeing what i'm doing on instagram and tiktok and other social media platforms i've been posting very frequently there lately and i will be um, for quite a while so links for everything are in the description go to my gumroad shop check out my uh you know the tools that i'm putting there um, I will be uploading this to Patreon, um, and that is for like any anybody who, uh, like all, all the tiers basically, are going to get the project files that I put up there. So if you want to check any of these out, you can find them there. And um, yeah, thanks everybody for dropping by once again. Have a good one. See you next time.